day in day out job on this van feels kind of strange actually it's, it feels strange because i've been doing a lot of videos and stuff like that for you guys but it feels strange for me just to be like working on the van boom 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 like this there was times in the past where that's all i did before i had the youtube channel when i was film, filming a lot of the build series so i'd be in here just grinding it out so gonna keep grinding it out today um yeah it's gonna feel great to get this all done and clean up everything out of here. Give this place a really good clean out. Um, I'm not gonna mess around with the bar stuff too much, but I'll get a lot of the dust out of here. And then, um, yeah, just get everything packed up and uh, take it all to my storage. And uh, that that's gonna be it. It's, it's quite a feeling to be like, I've been building my van out in this place for a long time. And it's at that point now where it's like, I'm gonna be saying, like goodbye like it's I won't, won't really need to and I'm internally like eternally grateful for the yoga uh, business to be letting me use this space um, often it was just on the weekends and stuff like that but this past week I've just been pushing through for a whole week on this and uh, Alex the new manager was kind enough to let me uh, come back here and work in the space there was a parking spot for me for that period of time so that uh, Alex thank you man that that's I was really, uh, yeah, I'm really grateful for that. Thank you so much. And um, and then Y Yoga as well, just for, for allowing me to use this space. Um, I know it's been pretty quiet time for these guys right now in their business and stuff, so I'm not doing a whole lot for them right now, but uh, it's been great to finish up the van here and uh, get that done. So anyway, wow, we... I'm gonna uh, get to work. Today's gonna be a big day, so I'm gonna uh, see what I can get done. Tomorrow there's no time to 
know Time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today It's a good day to day And not tomorrow There's no time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today It's a good day today It's a good This is all the lower cabinet sections. There's four pieces, one, two, three, and four. Then this is the underside of the counter. This took a lot of time to get going. I had to route this thing out in the bottom today. That's for the light. It's gonna go underneath and then all this intricate stuff, putting on the edge banding. Let's just say this took a bit of time to create this counter and to go over top of all those parts nicely. I really think in a bigger van, I'm just gonna go with, you know, more traditional shapes, but because this is a minivan and I'm trying to make the most use of the space, it's the way it is. It's pretty cool though. That's gonna get a coat of white on the bottom. Uh, that'll be the last piece to dry, so I'm gonna stick around, get that all painted up and carry on with the big cleanup in here and get things kind of tidied up. Um, thinking maybe I can get all my stuff together in uh, kind of an organized pile. That way I can just roll in here tomorrow, grab it all, bring it up to Squamish, and that'll be it. Um, this place, I should have it pretty cleaned up by the end of tonight anyway. Anyway, um, it's been a long day. I was here at 7 a.m. and it's uh, 8 p.m. So this will be day 10 on this whole front thing. So we'll say this thing took me 10 days to build this front cabinet. It's a lot of time, but it should be good. Um, later on at some point, I'm gonna get some wire loom and I'll run the wiring down to it and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, and then as for those little cabinet ideas I had for up here, those that run that I'm gonna do, um, Obviously, I didn't have enough time to get into it, and while it would be nice to do it and call all the woodwork done in the van, it's probably good for me to sit on this anyway and just sort of like look at it, make some decisions, work it out in my head, and then I'm pretty sure I can build that entire thing um, on the road because all I need is a jigsaw and stuff like that. I'll probably end up building it up in Squamish or something, but uh, yeah, it's going to be nice to spend some time just living in this thing and exploring the island and other places. <laughs> uh, and it'd be really good to move away from all of this build stuff. My you know, gosh, this has been a huge project building this van out. Um, yeah, tomorrow I got some new parts coming in for it. I've got an airlift kit coming in for the back, so it, you probably can notice, maybe you don't notice it, but since I had the suspension upgrade done in the rear end, it started to settle a little bit in the back. Um, I've especially noticed it settling more in the last month, uh, so I don't know if it's just what it is, but I'm gonna uh, put that airlift system in there. That'll lift it back up a little bit, and um, that'll sort of redistribute the weight and suspension so i'll have the extra leaf springs plus instead of the bump stops we'll be pulling those out and putting in this airlift kit i also got to put my air compressor in the back too so i'll do all that as soon as i get all this stuff sorted out down here and move all my tools and stuff and it's going to be so good because i won't have to carry around all these tools that i've been carrying around all this time like most of it i can just put it all away put it in storage, lighten the load in the back here, carry what I want to carry for backcountry camping, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. There's a couple little things to finish up and kind of maybe do in it, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Right here, I was going to do a nice little cover-up 
in there so that you don't see those holes. I actually had something, but it broke, so. Okay, I'm gonna roll this white on there. gonna do uh, a little wire in Penny's van for the cage. That's it. Yeah, it's ready for you. Super easy. Here's a fridge and uh, I'm just gonna put this thing in there. So I'm just gonna make a short little wire that we can plug in to your fuse panel. I know you guys say that I can do it, but I don't have all those tools to do it, so... I know, that's the only thing. It's super easy, but you need the tools. That's one. That's right. The heater? The heater and the other fan and stuff, that'll be the same thing. It's just two wires, one yeah. red, one black. I mean, they can be the same color. The wire doesn't actually care, but... So this is just gonna sit inside your electrical thing and our fridge is gonna plug into this. It's a pretty temporary setup, but I, like, we're not gonna install this into any furnishings just yet. And that's fine. I actually had stuff like this. I think I had three of these hanging off my fuse block for a while where I just had my, you know, different things plugged into it and stuff. And in this case, it's fine. The reason we're just doing that is because she might find a new home for this after she gets her here. Um, and when she does get her heater and we do the installation on that, then we'll, you know, we'll properly do all this sort of stuff too and figure out exactly where this is going to live in the furnishings relative to uh, the heater installed. Um, it's just placement of all that stuff, so anyway, that's it. Well, I had some of those little plastic ones. I used to hold some shelf, some uh, little basket, I should say. Plastic. <laughs> like the, this little thing that you put in there. Oh, you have some of those? I had some. <laughs> I, I used them. <laughs> they were mini ones. I put some some little basket on my doors here. I'm like, oh, I don't know what's this for. Oh, it must be for the air to call. Oh, that would be perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, yeah, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So mm. I can I can do that part too. Oh. Yeah. I'm here, yeah. Power. Yay, we do. I heard a little beep. Beep. Okay. It's good. We do have power. It doesn't make that much noise. No, they're pretty, they're pretty quiet usually. You'll hear it come on in the middle of the night and you'll smile. You'll be like, Ah, my fridge is working. <laughs> I got cold food. <laughs> so, we just turn it on. I can 
Like seriously, I'm right beside I can hear it. And it's gonna be underneath yep. the uh, anyway, that's done. Uh, grab it out. Sharing the, having breakfast. Sharing the browns? Yeah. That's gonna change things for her for sure. Uh, I set mine about uh, three or four degrees Celsius. Um, you might be able to convert yours over to Celsius. I just prefer that because I'm kind of brought up on Celsius. I know. But, yeah. Hey. hey, everybody. <laughs> you guys just kissed his channel. Yeah. So dorky sometimes. But I'm kind of a dork. I mean, look at this hat. Isn't this awesome? So, um, that's it guys. Got some spare garbage kits. That's my air compressor. Still got to set that up in the back. Um, and I got to wire this all in, but I've got my two water jugs right here. And I can prop one of those up on the side like this. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, Chrome donated me some old speakers. I'm gonna see if I can get those in here too. Thanks for the speakers, bro. Yeah. <laughs> See your Dixon? Right there. Right there? It's my Dixon. Hey, Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> now he's showing up his Dixon. <laughs> Do you have a duty shirt? Uh, yeah. Man, this feels so awesome, you guys. Super happy about that. A couple of cubbies I can throw some stuff in there that little shelf there and then shoes and shoes and whatever and stuff we're gonna do van tour soon <laughs> yes van tour um we'll wait till i get in the island i'll put that uh compressor in the back and it sits out of the way and i'll just get all my supplies back in the van and get the tools out of here that i don't need anymore and uh that'll make things a little bit better for going on uh, an adventure up North Island. So that's where I'm going to go with Chrome. We're going to go and explore the North Island. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'd like to do some salmon fishing. <laughs> see if we can go out, charter a boat and go salmon fishing. We'll see. This feels like quite the momentous moment in, in a way. It's not momentous, but it is kind of nice. <clears throat> I'm all loaded up with all my van build stuff behind me. And I'm just leaving the park here for the first time with all this stuff. So that's it for van building down here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Feels really good. Feels really good. And there's, there's other things I can do in here for sure, but we'll call all that stuff. Uh, improvements and renovations and those kinds of things I can just do it as a regular van life or wood and just do it on the road or in a friend's shop or you know that kind of thing so um, but yeah I did leave my, my paint primer here I'll do that on a separate run because um, I use a lot of that stuff up and uh, <clears throat> the cans are mostly empty, so I'm going to get some smaller cans and just transfer it over into that so that uh, I can uh, not take up so much space storing it, but that's, that's the idea. But I'll be down here again um, after, I don't know, it's up to anyway. I am gearing up, gearing up, gearing up, gearing up, mentally, spiritually, getting ready to go out and explore the North Island and join up with Van City Van Life to do that.